I've now placed our sample block on the shorter saw husses, I like to call ponies, and I've lowered the bit until it touches the surface of the timber at the very edge so that I can measure the distance between the surface of the wood and the carriage. This is so that I can create a depth stop. 14 and 1 quarter. Using a very sm small C clamp, I've attached a scrap block that is 10 and a quarter inches long. That will limit the travel of the carriage to 4 inches, the depth of my mortise. I'm now ready to begin to bore a hole. I align the lead screw on the tip of the bit directly over a dimple. And I always bore the end holes first. Sitting on the machine, I release the lever holding the carriage up and turn the handles. bit jumped out of my dimple. Again, in the dimple, I begin turning As the lead screw pulls the bit into the wood, the very large chips are extracted. Once I'm at the bottom of the mortise, I turn the handles one full turn in reverse to back the lead screw out. Then I engage the lift gear and the bit is extracted from the timber. 